Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a few mixes of the yellows and blacks that were in, my Schmink in the Schminke palette that I swatched recently. And that is up here. I just had to move it, move the paper up, but I want to keep this on the same page because they are kind of relevant mixes to, to the palette. And if you've seen that swatching video, I wasn't quite sure whether I wanted to put in the quinacridone violet and I've decided I'm not going to put in the quinacridone violet because I mixed the quin rose or I think it's called permanent carmine actually. I mixed the permanent carmine with the ultramarine finest and I get a violet that is pretty close to the quinacridone violet so I don't need I don't need the quinacridone violet so it's going to go on another palette. And I decided to put in the raw sienna instead of the yellow ochre or yellow raw ochre. And this will also, I will also put this in another palette. So this is the lemon yellow PY3 mixed with ivory black PBK9. And I don't think I've ever tried this myself before, but, and you can see this here. It is, you do get something that is like a dark slightly dirty green but it's definitely green and now we do the same with the cadmium yellow light you know what i've already made a mistake because i didn't use the ivory black that's the graphite gray actually so let me just switch these around That's what happens when you don't get a swatch card. Well, I haven't made myself a swatch card yet for that palette. And, and then finally the raw sienna. I'm not sure how well this is going to work because usually it's the cooler yellows that mix greens with blacks, but we'll give it a try anyway. Oh, see now, because I've gone in with my brush two times, it's properly activated now, so I got way too much. I'm gonna need some more of the raw sienna. But yeah, I don't think these two, I didn't think these two would be making anything that oh, it would really classify as a green. This is more like a muddy brown, which is basically what you would expect. Oh, but look, this looks like, these looks, uh, look a little bit like they're granulating as well. Right, so let's try that again and use actual ivory black this time. This lemon yellow is really quite bright. I'm not sure uh, how it comes across on camera, but in real life it is really quite bright, which is not a bad thing, of course. You can always mute it, mute it down a little bit, but you can't make it brighter. So you want to start out with something fairly bright. And yeah, again, because the ivory black is a bit warmer than the, the, the graphite gray is, so this is, I mean, it still comes across as like a greenish color, but it's it's not as green as this, I think. So what about you? Do you use green and black together in, in mixes? I guess this might be a good, this might be good to have for, for, for landscape painting. And again, Got way, way more black than I wanted to, but I guess it's okay because the cadmium yellow can stand up to a bit more of even a stronger color because the cadmiums are quite strong themselves. So yeah, again, I mean, you can see, I can see a bit of a difference between these two. These do seem to be warmer mixes than these up here, but then the graphite gray is much more blue and the, the, the ivory black is a bit more brown leaning maybe, I would say. So it's going to be interesting with the raw sienna now. Let's get some water in here and some more pigment. And I'll be, I'll try to be a bit more careful, but look, this seems like it's granulating as well. It does. That's good to know. I 
Okay, it wasn't quite so much black, so that's okay. Let's get a bit more in one corner, just because this up there is really, is really very black. Yeah, but again, and again, I didn't expect these two to really make something where you would say this is a green. just show you very quickly this is what the palette looks like at the moment so I've got my primaries up here all six of them and then here's the raw sienna transparent sienna the olive green the perylene green ivory black and the graphite gray and I've got room in both both of these rows there's room for one more half pan and I really really am tempted to, to stick a pan of Schmincke French ultramarine in here for a bit more granulation and then maybe Schmincke Caput Morton down here I don't, don't know I'm not sure yet so there will I will add something in here and then once the palette's complete I might do a palette swatch and little palette tours again so do let me know if you want to see that and do definitely let me know if you mix what 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 greens and what blacks you mix if you do that and how you use them and I am quite happy with this little experiment Need to do some more, maybe with other other paints as well. And none of them are even close to perylene green. I was wondering if we might get close to something with perylene green. On the other hand, if I try to mix the graphite gray, more of the graphite gray with one of the yellows, and maybe it would be the cadmium yellow rather than the lemon yellow, I might get close. I don't know. I think I'll leave it at this for today. Thank you very much for joining me today. Please give the video a like and consider subscribing to my channel if, enjoy, if you enjoy watching people swatch. Sorry, I'm talking so fast. I'm tripping over my own tongue. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye now. Bye.